Shredding on cables. Hey guys, it's been a welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we went along Route 25. We met Bill, and then we walked back, basically. And this part, we are prepped to fight the gym leader. Now, on my person, I currently... I, by the way... I have the most unorganized inventory, it's basically in order of what we find. I have 6 TMs sitting here, and you know what? I'm actually going to use the computer for once. I know. What is this madness? Um, so let's let's turn on the PC. Let's go to Bandai's PC, which is my inventory storage system, and we're going to deposit, uh, basically all my TMs, because I don't need my TMs on my person. In fact, I will, lit I will literally use my TMs at the very end of the game. And a Helix Fossil, because you don't need your Helix Fossil. You won't need it for like a long time, so don't worry. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to use the Pokemon that you get from the Helix Fossil uh, at the end of the game. I will not use him. Uh, however, uh, I will keep the SS ticket on me, because I'm, we're going to use that very soon. Uh, by the way, you may be wondering who this person is. This person uh, establishes your link, your cable club. It's reserved for two friends who are linked by cable. Which basically means you need to plug in a link cable by this point, and then it will detect that you can go in. Uh, other than that, I think we are all prepared for the gym. I have Birdo out front, I do have Bubba at the bottom. However, Birdo will get a few levels along the way, and trust me, besides one Pokemon, level 18 is perfectly fine. You're a trainer too, collecting fighting. It's a tough life. Yes. Anyway, welcome to... The gym. I never talked to this person here, by the way. Yo, champion making, here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. What? Plant Pokemon? Jeez. Uh, so anyway, this gym, it's kind of weird when you play older, uh, the older Pokemon games because for the first two gyms, there's nothing really going on. So anyway, here's a guy. He swims over to you and he's like, splash! Splash does nothing. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so there's three trainers in this gym. Uh, you got, first of all, a swimmer. Yeah, I gotta put a new sprite on the side, don't I? He's got Horsey. Horsey, uh, Horsey does have a high defense stat, and he's got some really nice moves. I, and especially for the next generation, I would recommend him. He, he is so strong, especially when you fully evolve him. Problem is, uh, you can't fully evolve him. For the next generation, because he's a trade evolution. Yeah, I know, he's one of those. Um, in this generation, he only evolves via level up, I think, at level 26 or something. Uh, so he's not hes not that bad. Also, it would be so great if Birdo evolved. Shelda! Um, so yeah. Uh, Shelda, on the other hand, <laughs> evolves into Cloyster. Cloyster has the highest defense stat of any Pokemon in this game. Cloyster also has an- oh sorry, Shelda also has a very good uh, moveset. Shelda also evolves via Water Stone, and his base stats are extremely good. Only problem is HP is a little bit low, but a hey, highest defense stat, by the way. So, you may be wondering, what water type will I have on my team by the end of the game? Well, yeah, spoilers. Um, if you've seen my channel banner, basically all the Pokemon in that are the, my ending team, eventually. You may notice that most of those you get at the very halfway of the game, as in I will get all of those Pokemon by the middle of the game. Ah, uh, so this is when I would start using Peck, as soon as he starts defense curling, or, uh, yeah. Um, the main reason why we're dominating him is because he, he he's three levels less. However, Shelda is really good. A lot of people don't actually notice that. He's he's very strong for a Pokemon. I mean, granted, I think the Shelda form is a little bit weak. I wouldn't recommend Shelda for Little Cup battles, I guess. But more than good enough. Misty can wait. So yeah. Misty's kinda interesting. In the anime, she has uh, two sisters that over that basically are like, no, she's like the runt of the litter. She's the ugly red-headed stepchild. She literally is. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, but I can't really talk about her too much because we have a Golding. Golding in Smash Brothers does nothing. Golding uses Splash. Uh, Golding is actually a very good Pokemon. I would recommend Golding as well. Uh, his, his attack is very high, and the best part is that he's very easy to get. And he also knows Peck, which basically means you can basically dominate your grass types straight up with this guy. 
Um... Seriously, I'm loving Fury Attack right now. Oh, come on! I had this right in the bag. Come on, Birdo, you can... Oh, Birdo, you suck. Oh, come on, Birdo, you would have... You would have leveled up because of this. You would have evolved the next level. Uh, so we won't have uh, Birdo level up, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, you know what's actually going to be the worst part? I will have plenty... See, yeah, 541 experience. That would have been plenty for the next level. Except Baba did get Poison Powder, so I guess that's worth it. Uh, yes. I will get rid of Growl, because honestly, I don't use Growl that much. Although, if I were to get rid of the next move, I would probably get rid of uh, Leech Seed. Leech Seed just kind of sucks at the very beginning, and then it's alright. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to heal up, and then I'll be right back. And now we're back, ready to fight Misty. Now, I've still got Spiro up front, because... I've still got Birdo up front, uh, because... Oh, he wouldn't have leveled up. Anyway, <laughs> okay. I've still got Birdo up front because I do want to take off the first Pokemon very quick, uh, well not very quickly because, you know, I can just send out Bubba and just use Vine Whip and all of them. However, by the way, you know one thing I love about this gym? All the Pokemon are pure water type. Isn't that great, Brock? <laughs> Seriously, you had two rock types and all of them were ground type. Okay, um, so yeah, but this first Pokemon, not that bad. Well, what is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is all out offensive with water type, which is weird because water type is actually a very defensive type, if not. But anyway, this is Misty. She has no armpit hair. Um, <laughs> anyway, Misty has a Staryu, uh, which is level 18. I did not actually write the moveset of this Staryu. That's actually very odd. Um, I usually do that. Anyway, I think Staryu is a pretty good choice. Um, you know, its special stat and its speed stat is very high, and on top of that, it has a pretty good moveset, and it does the evolution via the Water Stone, uh, which basically means that you can uh, you can evolve this thing whenever you want, uh, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way, the thing with Stone Evolutions is that you have to choose carefully, because you can't... Seriously, Fury Attack! Jeez! Oh! X, X Defend! Uh, basically, what an X Defend does is that it, uh, I think it raises your defense stat by two notches. So it's basically by like using Harden twice. It's a one-time use item though, uh, and it's very expensive. I don't recommend it in, in uh, anything really. It's actually not really that worth it. I would recommend. Well, it's not that expensive, but I would recommend things like Calciums that permanently increase your defense stat, more so give you effort values. Anyway, this is Stami. It's the evolution of uh, Staryu. I think the biggest problem with Staryu, though, is that, um, uh, is that if you evolve it before level 47, you miss out on Hydro Pump, which is a very good, uh, water type attack. Uh, but this is some, yeah, this is the max evolution, and that is Vine Whip. And you're still using your X defense, jeez. Problem is, Grass has a special type attack. You do realize that, right? <laughs> Okay, well, so anyway, like, yeah, the beginning gym, the first gym of the game is so hard because there are no Pokemon to fight. You, there are only five trainers before you fight Brock. There were literally more than five trainers on one of the two routes just north of here. Anyway, <laughs> we're only like nine minutes into the part, or even less. Uh, we can also now have, yeah. Okay, so I'm, assu I'm assuming the level 30 business apparently counts towards your own Pokemon as well. Anyway, she gives you TM11, which is Bubble Beam. A lot of water types learn this normally, and she would technically be using it against you, but I killed it too fast. What can I say? Um, so yeah, I would recommend Bubble Beam if you want another water type attack. However, it is a TM, so be warned, it is a one-time use item. I don't know if you can buy Bubble Beam again. I actually want to list down the side, uh, the, I want to list on the right all the items that you can buy, all the TMs that you can buy in the game. Because unfortunately, a lot of the TMs in the game are limited use items. Uh, as in, you can only get one, aka a lot of the gym leader TMs. So yeah, so anyway, once you're done with, uh, with Misty, uh, you don't actually have to go 
you have to go up Nugget Bridge, though, in order to, um, open this door. I do like all of the new sprites. For example, that tree. On the Game Boy, you need to write a new tree sprite just to have it sideways. Seriously. They must be trying to dig their way into no good. Dig is a very good move, by the way, guys. T take that in mind. Those miserable... Look what they did. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. It cost me a bundle. Okay. Hello. What? <laughs> and then he fights you. <laughs> yes. Isn't that interesting? So anyway, we got a Team Rocket guy. This is a very odd battle, mainly because I think they expected you to do this before you fought Misty, but... Ah, stuff it. Peck. I should've used Fury- oh. oh wait, no, no, no. Sorry, Flying type super effective against uh, fighting. It's just that he, he's got the critical hit, so he's... Yeah. Flying type is super effective against fighting, but the problem is every single flying type- Well, most flying types are... Normal. Also, level 20. So I'm pretty much set. Uh, he also has a drowsy. I'm actually gonna s stay out of this. Oh, oh, more so, I'm just gonna abuse Fury Attack. Uh, have I talked about Drowsy before? I gotta scroll up my notes. I wrote I wrote this guy quite early, actually. Uh, Drowsy... I, I didn't actually write about this guy. Okay. Oh, no, no, I did. Uh, I never talked about Machop, actually. Machop has a pretty high attack stat, uh, and his base stats are pretty good. Uh, his max evolution does require a trade. Uh, though, so... Like, I, he's pretty good. I would recommend him, um... He may be bested a bit later. Uh, anyway, Drowsy, on the other hand... Fury attack, work! This isn't gonna work out, isn't it? Nope. Oh, thank goodness! Fury attack, you fool! Oh, nice. Yeah! Drowsy has pretty high base stats, and his special stat is extremely high, and... He's actually a pretty good psychic type. I would recommend him over Jinx. Uh, so yeah. What? Birdo is evolving! Hooray! Birdo has become a Fero. Fero is a beast! Also, he returns you Dig. D By the way, here's a fun fact. Dig has always been TM28 in every game. Uh, I will heal up though, because he, t he took a beating on my, um... On my, uh, Fero now. Fero is a beast! Let me just... Like, you saw the stats on the side. Look at these stats now. 49 attack! 51 speed! That is ridiculous! I mean, look at Bubba now. Look at Bubba. Bubba doesn't have 49 and 51, and he's two levels higher. I mean, granted, 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 Birdo is the highest evolution, so of course he's going to have extremely good stats, but that's a, that's a drastic increase. That's why I recommend Sparrow. Not only because he's better than Pidgey, but he's much better than Pidgey. And you can fully evolve him before Pidgey, and he's still stronger. <laughs> Like, that's w that's why I'd recommend a Spear. And he's... You do have to hold off for a bit, because you can't get Spear on the first few routes, and then he's still pretty pretty rare after that. But, like, in the previous round, he's, like, 40% chance, so, like, why wouldn't you get a Spear? I, I would recommend him as a flying type any day. Uh, but anyway, with that... <laughs> um... I don't want to make a short part, but I guess I'll have to end it off here. So I guess I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue on to Route 5. Actually, no, 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 don't end it right now. First of all, you've got a couple of things. You have a you have a route over here. I, I'm i a little bit lazy and... Sorry, you have a route to the right. I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to walk any further because otherwise then I'll have to edit in the sidebar. Don't jump down here, by the way. It just puts you back here and then you got to go to the house again. Uh, so the, that means the only way we can go is south. Now, here's something you want to do. There is grass here, isn't there? Uh, first of all, we are now on Route 5. Route 5 does have one new Pokemon. It is Meowth. Meowth is only found in blue. Uh, his speed stat is pretty good, but he is, is kind of generic. I'll say that. If you head into this house here, by the way, he runs a daycare. Okay, sure. Uh, this is where not training Dragon Man is a good thing. Okay? You want to leave Dragon Man with him. Okay? You want to leave a Pokemon with him. This guy runs the daycare service, and basically what this means is that every so often, he will level up your Pokemon for you. Um, 
when your Pokemon levels up, oh well, yeah, uh, every every level by the way he increases. Uh, you have to pay 100 Pokebucks to him when you receive it back, and you also have to pay an extra hundred just for a service. So for example, if I if I go back to him, yeah, like I owe him 100. However, like, even when you max level, that's only going to like even if you go from level one to 100, that will only cost you 10,000 Pokebucks. That sounds like a lot right now, but like. That's for completely training a, a Pokemon. Granted, he won't really do that. You won't need to pay that much. However, you know, it's very useful. And especially for something like Magikarp, which is pretty low level. So, yeah. By the way, if you keep going here, I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait, the road's closed. Whoopsies. Okay. So, you can't do anything there. However, if you check over here, you'll find Underground Pass, Ruling City, Vermilion City. And this is where I'll end you off. Uh, I, I will end you, viewer. Anyway, uh, with this, I'll see you guys next time. See you, kids, then, and be sure to pick up Pokemon X and Y, because, I don't know, it seems good. And I haven't been sponsored. See you, kids, then. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do.